Okay, I want to say something about uh, the wilderness and uh, show how the wilderness or the nature here is left to its own uh, devices. We don't do anything apart from cutting some paths, as I said. Um, these are all trees that are, have grown there, there. We didn't plant them. Uh, because this was all bare, this was in, hol in, in, in summer, very hot. And um, I'm showing this because uh, we've been involved into the project of the Ostfriders Plus, where it's been decided uh, 30 years ago to put cows and horses on the land to maintain the land, uh, especially because just otherwise it becomes wild like this. This is what they didn't want. I want to show it to you just to show that it is okay it's wild but it's not unpleasant it's not. Uh, the, the, the whole reason why they introduced these animals these grace, great grain, uh, grazers was uh, to uh, for aesthetic reasons uh, and to make it a look like a open grass area so that actually you can see the animals that's the main reason I believe because otherwise you would not be able to see the animals uh, you can imagine that in these sort of circumstances uh, well I would not be able to see a conic horse or a auroch um, cattle or whatever in this area because they would look for shelter in the heat in the Ostfriders Blosser they can't do that at all, or they can, there is some shelter, but as they are big groups of animals, there's not enough shelter. They stay together, so they stay in the sun. And staying in the sun, in the bare sun, in a bare field is definitely not, uh, it's not, uh, it's not good. So, um, that's all for saying that uh, we don't approve with the way uh, this rewilding, so-called rewilding, with, uh, with uh, introducing cattle uh, that is not looked after, or and horses, they're, they're not looked after. Uh, we don't think it's necessary. We think nature can provide uh, for itself. It's pretty enough. You don't have to have, in any case, if there would be horses and cattle here, there would not be roe deer. So that's, that's just the point. If you introduce cattle and horses, then you destroy the habitat of the existing uh, fauna, which is totally crazy, we think. So this was my uh, this is my contribution to showing how it can be if you just leave nature alone. Um, it's full of bugs. It's full of birds. It's uh, it's a mature ecosystem. Animals come here if they want to. They don't have to. They're not shut up into a fenced area. You can see this was an old farm uh, and the farm area is totally grown over which, uh, well, just just don't have the time really. But look at the, the brambles here, they're, be, they're going to be eaten by birds. Uh, eat them as well, they're lovely. Um, but whatever nature provides and animals like it here and this is what I wanted to show.